Like, let's get real personal here. I recently had a chasing Amy moment. I mean, I didn't try to flip a lesbian. Like, that's a losing battle. But I did severely injure myself eating pussy. <laughs> Tell us, I don't know how y'all eat pussy. But when I eat pussy, I go down there with the number two pencil and graphing paper and start drawing spreadsheets. <laughs> That's how I eat pussy. I mean, I just embarrassed the shit out of my girlfriend. <laughs> I go down there with a snorkel just so I can breathe a little bit longer. <laughs> That's how I eat pussy. I mean, when I'm done eating pussy, it constitutes a high five. <laughs> Fellas, if you didn't laugh at that joke, you need to step the game up. <laughs> if, you're, if your old lady's doing this, you should be taking notes. <laughs> but I'm down on the artichoke of the monkey doing what I do. <laughs> Finish doing what I'm doing, and we're doing that. Post Conalinga's high five, and my 40 year old shoulder pops out of socket. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. But this is not the first time my shoulders popped out of socket. The first time was about six months prior to that, while I was wrestling with my 10 year old nephew. That's something a 40 year old should be doing. Shoulder comes out of socket, and I go to the ER. While I'm at the ER, the doctor shows me this little exercise dude that puts my shoulder back in place. And then he shoots me up with fentanyl. Let me tell you about fentanyl. Wow. I know how that drug goes out of hand, man. I get it. I start doing the exercise, the doc shot me up. Hits me again, so I'm on two doses now. Oh shit, I'm in the moon. Boom, my shoulder goes back in place. I go home and I smoke a left handed cigarette. And let me tell you, <laughs> fentanyl plus THC will make you think you're Ric Flair. <laughs> oh shit, that stuff will make you think you're the next. Shit, man. I was watching 30 Rock on Netflix throwing up the four horsemen. <laughs> and in that moment, I knew fentanyl was a shit drug. Because 30 Rock ain't that fucking funny. <laughs> but let's fast forward back six months. I'm with my lady. My shoulder comes out of socket because, you know, that action. <laughs> and, I, and I think, like, of course you don't have fentanyl, we don't do those kind of drugs. And I'm like, all right, well, I'm just going to do this exercise until this works. So I wrap my hands around my knee and I start doing the exercise. And then my gal pal says, I can do energy work. I don't know what that is. <laughs> but I'm incapable of saying no to a naked woman. <laughs> I'm like, cool, let's do it. So I start doing my exercise. She gets up, rubs her hands together. They get warm, turn yellow, and she puts them on my shoulder. And then, boom, my shoulder goes back in socket. I was like, holy oh, shit. Am I dating the Iron Fist? <laughs> if so, she needs to teach me how to karate chop the jive turkey. So that's something I need to know at 40 years old. It's a good ninja chop. That's what we all need in life. In this moment, I learned something about myself. I learned that I'm a feminist. But I can't say no to a naked woman. And I've also learned that we need to protect naked women. And that is my whole stance on feminism. To protect naked women. Who's with me on this?